time and they still got everybody believing in Santa Claus because they got this new All Kelly documentary coming out and they don't deified him. They call him Jolly Saint Freak instead of Saint Nick, y'all. Oh Surviving All Kelly is back with the final chapter. They made a trilogy out of the syllogy. Lands trailer and release date, y'all. Now the reason why I had to make this video is because it don't look like Andre Kelly got anything to do with this one. So it's a possibility they about to throw that ass under the bus as well. Because this trailer, they talking about everybody involved that was on his side when he was doing what he was doing need to be in jail. And since she was on his side when he was doing all that, when he was fooling with Aaliyah, she was on his side and a lot of them girls said, yeah, she was at the house when I was there. I used to go over there and play with the kids. Andre Kelly, she was the one making the tuna fish sandwiches. Oh my goodness. Now she can't hide behind the survivors no more because they done ramped it up to chapter three and he in jail and they still need to make entertainment out of this. So they can't have her masquerading around the way she was when he was free because your last name's still Kelly and she refused to change it. Y'all gotta see this here, man. The trailer for Surviving All Kelly, the final chapter is here, along with an announcement that new episodes will be airing next month. The new chapters will focus on the fallout of Kelly as he faces multiple federal and state trials. Andre Kelly, your days of victimhood is over. Y'all gotta see this here. In a particular night, one will detail the abuse, intimidation, and courtroom testimony of Azriel Clary. On the other hand, night two will center on the survivor identified as Jane Doe. How the hell y'all got somebody in a documentary and don't even say her damn name? They got a ghost on that mother, man. The spirit of Christmas for Jolly Saint Freak, AKA R. Kelly, man. They done turned him into a, a scary bedtime story for teenage girls, man. If you don't act right, if you don't dress right, Old Jolly Saint Freak. In the future, it's gonna be some girls scared out of their mind. They gonna turn R. Kelly into Candyman. Y'all gotta see this here. Cause they put this trailer together like it's one of them old Spartan movies. They got the trumpets and all that shit going. You would have thought this was an action movie. Reggie, set that thing up. Y'all gotta see this here. Parental aggression advised, y'all. In 2019, R. Kelly was arrested on federal sex crime charges. I'm ready to just tell my truth. He faces two federal... Hold on, and wait a minute, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I know that wasn't no Glorilla. Charges. I'm ready to just tell my truth. Is that Glorilla? Oh, hell no. They don't bought her to the surviving R. Kelly. I knew she got that little girl body and everything. But I didn't think they was going to take it this far. And on another note, they talking about Shanquilla friends had something to do with R. Kelly. And her whole crew was a bunch of R. Kelly survivors. And allegedly, <clears throat> somebody from jail paid for their tickets, their lottery tickets and things. I don't know how true that is, but you never know. They trying to put everything on R. Kelly. Y'all gotta see this here, man. Cause if that ain't Glorilla, she must be Showrilla or Morilla. Whole Rilla. Maybe that's her cousin. Reggie, cut that off. Play that. He faces two federal and two state trials. He didn't do it alone. There was an enterprise. Bodyguard, entourage, assistance. 
they were sick just like him. Kelly was charged with a Oh, print. that's that bullshit. Wait a minute, y'all. That ain't right. They showed the bodyguard. They showed all the brothers, but they ain't showed no sisters. When they said assistant, they should have put his assistant up there. Hold on. Because she need to be in the documentary too. Kelly. Assistant. Because I know for a fact that wasn't no man. But they refused to put her in the trailer. Y'all see this BS? They want to protect all the women's involved. Shit, they trying to make her a victim. When she clearly was the person that was writing all the damn airplane, all the shit, his checks, he couldn't read or write. She was the one paying everybody. She was in control of his money. The girls need a hotel room, she took care of the hotel. Girl need a Greyhound bus, she, you call her about the Greyhound. Your kids wanna come on to Neverland? She had the keys to Neverland, but they don't wanna put her in the documentary. Reg, open up them phone lines, man. Cause y'all gotta let me know how y'all feel about this here. What up? I'm gonna run that back again. Cause they showed him. Hold on. Slow that down real quick, Reg. Slow that thing all the way down. Cause y'all need to see the games they be playing. Listen at this, y'all. Trials. He didn't do it alone. There was an enterprise. Bodyguard, entourage, assistance. Is she supposed to be the assistant? Wait a minute, they gonna quit playing these games, man. They got him standing next to Dr. Luther King. What? Like, you know you need Jesus, R. Kelly. I know, man, I know. Just give me time. Give me some time. Want to mention everybody except for the females in the situation. Assistance. They were sick just like him. Kelly was charged with a criminal. God damn, hold on. How many counts? That shit was... They trying to make it seem like he the, um... The dude from that movie, All Father... That shit that was on Netflix. Hold on. Netflix. Oh. Oh. Y'all scary ass need to call up here. And quit sitting over there looking crazy. This who they trying to uh, turn all Kelly into. Like, shit, I can get off. They just put Kelly in jail. This man had over 100 kids and his ass ain't sitting in jail. He was, ta he was taking a skeeting in the damn a, a motherfucking syringe and squeezing it in your wife talking about this is your baby but it's really his baby man he ain't in jail oh father look all kelly ain't had no kids with them hoes oh my goodness hold on man hello hello who this is this third coast hg oh what's going on sister how you feeling I'm feeling good. You know, I got a bone to pick with you. You said you got a blood, man. They said you was a man, but now you just confirmed it. What the hell are you talking about? You got a bone for who? The bone to oh pick with goodness. you. Look, man, we ain't picking no bones or nothing like that. I know you from New Orleans. We don't do that voodoo stuff over here, man. No, if you ain't talking no. about Jesus, I don't know what you talking about, man. Praise the Lord. You know, I love Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But listen, no, I just want to get this out the way first. I'm calling you for my work phone. Because in the comments we oh talk, we you goodness. said you didn't block me, but my cell phone won't go through, but my work phone go through. That's because you got to pay your bill, baby. You can't be calling up here mad at me because okay. the struggle is real. You know what I'm saying? I know you don't okay, never so hit the cash app, and you ain't never even hit the like button. Now you mad because you ain't got no minutes on your Ooh. phone, baby. I, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to air you out right now. I cash out you two hundred dollars about a year and a half ago, so that ought to keep me good for the next six months, six what two three years. Two hundred dollars two years ago. Either you was in a coma, but we glad that you woke up. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate <laughs> you regardless, baby. Now we got to yeah. talk about this R. Kelly situation. I'm gonna get back to you for trying. Matter of fact, cut that music off. I'm gonna get on you about calling <laughs> up here 
being very disrespectful, trying to call me out in front of people like I'm a deadbeat dad when you already know who your baby daddies is, man. They trying to turn R. Kelly into our father. They are making it seem like he impregnated these women. Everything they say about R. Kelly, this man did in real life. They said R. Kelly had a cult. He really had a motherfucking cult. They said yeah. these women didn't know that they was being preyed on by R. Kelly. These women really didn't know that they was being preyed on by this man. How come he ain't in jail? But R. Kelly sitting up in jail right now. That's true. I believe that anybody and everybody that manipulates or try to do something, you know, doing the same similar thing that R. Kelly was doing need to be locked up. It ain't no excuse for it. That's real, no man. Excuse. That's so real. They got this surviving R. Kelly chapter three. They bringing it together like it's a trilogy. I'm so tired. <laughs> like Blade, the movie Blade had three movies. Uh, The Matrix, yeah. they had three movies. They had to close it John, out with the third. John Wick had John Wick. three, four movies. Now they got the R. Kelly, the trilogy. It all came full circle. Now, if they ain't exposing all Andre Kelly, what the hell they doing with it? I don't know, because you can only beat a dead horse. I mean, what's the point of beating a dead horse? You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. if they can keep on talking about the same old thing, I think now that it's for views, you know, like clout. Because otherwise, you know, what's the point in it? Like you said, um, Andrea Kelly, and I wanted to tap in on that too, why she would want to keep her last name Kelly. Mm -hmm. That makes no sense in the world. If my father, thank God my father ain't all Kelly. But uh, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, even if I was a child, I wouldn't want my last name to be Kelly. That's not a nice jacket to be wearing around mm -hmm. when your daddy's accused of all these underage unnecessary stuff you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. that that's a little weird to me too so i think she clout chasing off of his coattail you see what i'm saying still trying to ride the little wave that he did have since he locked up but she trying to make herself look like you know what i'm saying she the one that's on but she knew what that boy was doing you cannot be married to a man all that time and don't know what he up to so she she should be probably they should give her 30 days or something Man, look, they ain't gonna give her no time because they protecting all the women involved. And I just don't understand that part. Guilty is guilty. But do you feel like this is a feminist move just to make all brothers look bad? Um, it you know it could be. You know what I'm saying. But then when you come when you look at the facts with Ke with Kelly, you know what I'm saying. Then you know what I'm saying. Um, it just don't it don't add up because the facts are there. The, the, you know, the court paper don't lie. You know what I'm saying? When he got married to that girl at, at 15 or whatever the case may be, you cannot go back and erase that. So he been like that. Man, listen, I was watching movies from the 90s. Matter of fact, last night before I went to sleep, I watched the movie Juice. And Samuel L. Jackson character in the movie Juice with Tupac, Omar Epps, and all them people. Mm -hmm. Listen at this. This man, he was flirting with underage girls throughout the whole movie. Every time you seen his character, he was macking on the 15-year-old. And Samuel L. Jackson, sure he old as hell. I mean, he it was sure a new was girl. with them bell-bottom pants on. It, I remember that with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when they he, were, when he was like, Bishop looking for you, pay me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He had to pull him off of the young girl like, hey, man, can I talk to you for a minute? He over there macking on the teenager. That was she a part of- She looked like she was about 14. You ain't lying. I just, I just paid, you just reminded me of that. I never thought of that. <laughs> man, it was throughout the whole movie. And I'm thinking people would be mad as hell if this was in the movies nowadays, you can't do stuff like that no more. But back then, it was normal. And that's weird. And you know, even back way when, like way, way back when, they mm -hmm. was doing it then. They was marrying them 13 and 14. You know what I'm saying? That's some weird. I don't know where we went wrong or what's going on in the world, but it's just disgusting to me that a child that ain't got no time to grow up, you know what I'm saying, don't know, and they getting overly sexualized by TV, by music, and by these dang on men that can't find satisfaction in women around their same age. You don't have to be the exact age, but at least, you know, 10 years or something, but at least let them be legal. I mean, I'm not saying it's cool for some... If you want to date an 18-year-old in your 30s or whatever, that's your business, but at least she's legal. Exactly. Stay off the playground. Real talk, man. If this you want man. somebody that's in school, go, go get you a college girl. Hello. Man. They ain't trying to hear that. Them brothers, them old school cats back in the day. Look, he had a pool hall. All the kids in the pool hall, they skipping school. Remember the scene when they was in there playing the <laughs> video game, skipping school, and the police ran up in there, get y'all ass back in school. That was his little spot. So his character exactly. 
was a goddamn freak. Exactly. He was a freak. And he also wasn't for the black folk like you would think. Because like you said, the, the little gambling, how the pool how he had, that was for them to come in there and play the game and stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? So they were skipping school at his establishment. So right. he really wasn't a good, a good, you know what I'm saying, person to look up to as a black role model. His, his, his act, his, uh, his role that he played in there was real messed up when when I think about it now. I didn't look at it like this. Yeah, man, it was some sad stuff. A grown ass man got them kids. Everybody, he liked the Pied Piper in the damn movie. And then he macking on the girls that supposed to be in high school. They laid over his old leg. It was disgusting when you think about it, it nowadays, was. but shit, R. Kelly was disgusting back then. But just like how that was normal, R. Kelly was normal. Mm-hmm. Back then, yeah, you know, everything normal until they let the cat out of the bag. Exactly. Shit, them girls should have left the cat. The cat was in the bag. <laughs> no, them girls should have left that cat lives. in them drawers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All Kelly wouldn't even be in this situation. We got so much love for you, Third Coast. And just to, you know, recap what you said earlier, since you're trying to make me look bad in front of all these people. Last time I checked, you ain't even had no cell phone. You called up here from a pay phone and kept you calling back. You better block my 318 number. Block my 318 number. You better figure out which one it is. I think you thought I was one of them dusters and blocked me by accident because I know we better than that. <clears throat> if you call them from a pay phone, then look, I ain't my trying to say you dust. Matter of fact, we're going to talk about that another time. I got so much love for you, Third Coast. We <laughs> I love y'all, later. gang. No I blame you. All right, take Bye. care. Have mercy. <clears throat> look, man, somebody hit her cash app so she can get her phone back on. You know what I'm saying? But that's Negro here nor there. Let's get back to this news, y'all. Because this trailer making it seem like R. Kelly worse than the devil. And he tried to tell y'all I ain't Lucifer. Like, I ain't no perfect man. But what y'all doing to me is ridiculous. All the people he don't help. That's what made me not even want to try to help nobody, man. Because them going to be the main ones with a knife in your back. Listen at this here. And then surprise. Bodyguard, entourage, assistants. They were sick just like him. Ellen was charged with a criminal enterprise under the RICO statutes the way they get the campaign. Hold on, prostitution? Hold on, well, what about the people that were selling their damn kid? How you gonna have a prostitution ring with a bunch of kids that's supposed to be in school in the morning? Oh my the fuck? Goodness. Where they teachers at? Matter of fact, they teachers and they schools need to be held accountable too. Y'all wasn't keeping records of these kids. The motherfucking uh, DSS worker ain't go by the house to see what the hell was going on. How somebody gonna be trapped with R. Kelly when they gotta go to school in the morning? What they took them out the school system? R. Kelly can't read or write, so I know for damn sure he wasn't a teacher. Oh my goodness. It's a whole bunch of people involved. The school centuries, the counselor, the principal, the lunch lady. You know you got about 50 dinners that ain't nobody touched. Y'all wasting food. Where are these kids at? We making all these lunches. What you mean Shabiga ain't coming to school this week? That's fucking with tax people dollars, man. Oh my- but they try to make it seem like R. Kelly just had a criminal organization, a whole enterprise, like he the goddamn Spider-Man or somebody. A John Starks, Tony Starks of Starks Enterprises, R. Kelly, the man that can't read or write. Oh my God, this is pissing me off, man. 26 counts, R. Kelly can't even count. Oh my goodness. How you gonna put counts on somebody that can't even read? Shit, lock the Count Dracula up. He'll do better time than R. Kelly. R. Kelly don't know how long he been up in there. Nigga don't lost count. Shit, five more days I'll be home. Like, R. Kelly, you got 30 more years, bro. Charged with a criminal enterprise under the RICO statutes the way they get the Gambinos and the Genovese. I have to walk into that courtroom. I don't want to see his face. I wanted to call the police, but I was terrified. 
We were not just doing a protest. We were shifting the paradigm. Shit, hold on, wait a minute. Damn. Hold on now. I'm taking offense to all of this shit. We wasn't just doing the protest. We were shifting the paradigm. Damn, I feel like R. Kelly, what the hell is a paradigm? Hold on. Para dimes. Look, two bubble butt twins popped up when I put in paradigms. Not a pair of dimes, but a paradigm. The hell is that supposed to mean? Look, we gonna learn something today. A paradigm is a example, a pattern. So they made an example out of R. Kelly, huh? Especially an outstandingly clear or typical example or archetype like the black male. Mm. Like I said, <clears throat> they used R. Kelly to make us all look like some damn animals. They don't change the whole paradigm. Mm. An example of a conjunctuation or a declension showing the word in all of its infectual forms. Mm, 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 mm. That's messed up. They ain't have to do it. They could have did a protest. A protest, they ain't have to do no paradigm, you know? Oh my God. Hold on, y'all. Not just doing a protest. We were shifting the paradigm. Everyone in R. Kelly's operation needs to go to jail. Hold on, she said he did. What with the dough? Hold on now. What? Everyone. What the hell? In R. Kelly's the fuck? Hold on, y'all. I need some scary ass music for this here. There you go. <clears throat> He closed the door behind him. I tried to open the door. It was locked from the outside, and I was scared. Oh my goodness. I would have beat that motherfucking door down. Ain't had no windows up in there. Motherfucker, come open this goddamn door. No, it's all right. You ain't there now. I, I, I can't even imagine R. Kelly doing something like that to somebody. Like, you can't leave now. You got to stay here. Don't go nowhere. Get your ass back in that room now. And Andre Kelly down there making some grits. How the hell you going to be in the married man house? His wife go to the mall. She come back with Vince, Ducci, Gabbana, Valenciaga. She shopping it up and got girls in the basement, man. They need to whew, hog tie her ass and throw her ass in jail right next to R. Kelly. You out there living a good life, eating good, sleeping good, and you ignoring them screams in the middle of the night. She turned the TV up and start chewing real hard just to silence them cries. Robert, hand me the remote. Shut up in there now. I'm trying to record. Look, I know this ain't no laughing matter. He closed the door behind him. I tried to open that motherfucker and it was locked from the outside. I couldn't even, and I was scared. When he let you up out of there, we should have knew about this in 1998. You won't wait till Christmas of 2022 to let the world know what happened in the summer of 95, man. It, look, I ain't trying to be insensitive to all of this, but <clears throat> how somebody gonna have a baby living with a grown a man that ain't even in their family and even if he was in the family if he ain't their daddy
he closed the door behind him. I tried to open that motherfucker. It was locked from the outside and I was scared. That's that shit. What's the movies? What was that movie where the, the dude had the girl trapped for like 30 years in the basement? Trapped in the basement. Damn. A LBGT hip hop documentary popped up when I typed that in. Trapped in the basement. A bunch of DL rappers with <clears throat> headphones on. Y'all can't see that. Hold on, the name of the movie was Girl in the Basement. So this was a Lifetime movie. Ain't they doing the All Kelly documentary on Lifetime? So they be they using shit from movies. Oh, they know how to write a good ass story. What if they using the same script from this movie and just putting it on All Kelly? Cause it's a Lifetime movie, man. Cause this sound like some shit. What if, what's his name in the movie? His name better not be Robert. I, I need to get the character's names, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let me type this in real quick. Cause if that nigga, if his name Robert, they done made up all this stuff. Hold on. Girl in the, yeah. yeah. Is that a true story? And like I said, this stuff ain't no laughing matter. Look, there go Andre and Kelly. With them damn kids. I see the symbology. So that's Andre and Kelly. And them supposed to be the kids. Hold on, y'all. What's the main character name? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. The nigga name, um, excuse my language, but damn. We gonna get back to this because I'm looking for fire and ain't even no smoke. But I wouldn't be surprised if they wrote this the same way they did the R. Kelly movie, man. Anyway, look at this here. Operation needs to go to jail. Everyone. This is something unprecedented in the history of popular music with, I believe, hundreds of victims. I now know 69. For the first time, we're hearing of a John Doe. Prosecutor said. Oh, hell no. What the fuck? What? Oh, my goodness. What? They got a John Doe. Oh, my God. Oh, Kelly out there. He plugging booties. Last time I checked, all oh, Kelly was the most heterosexual male in the entertainment business. Even if he was wrong, messing with the wrong age and everything, I ain't never heard about him switching no genders. But just to change the paradigm, like they said they trying to do, and I ain't trying to stick up for all oh, Kelly. But I gotta call BS when I call BS, man. How y'all only got one John Doe? He just was feeling happy. Damn, you know what? I'ma spice it up a little bit. He got a, where the boy come from? It was a two for two with the parents. Look, you could take Quanda, but we'll throw in Jesse for an extra 5,000 a month. Now he can't do much, Kelly. Shit, he probably was just there to sweep up in the barber shop or something. Make sure all Kelly basketballs got air in there. So when Michael Jordan comes to the house, they ain't got to worry about nothing. You know what I'm saying? A John Doe. With a whole boy, the A, B, C, D, E, F, G of Jane Doe's, man. They got the alphabet bitches. Ooh, excuse my language. Oh my goodness. Look, man. This don't make no damn sense. I'm Jane Doe number C. I'm Jane Doe 11. I'm Jane Doe E. They make this shit seem like it's Stranger Things. 
and 11 is the one that broke the case, man. They subjects like rats in the lab. Shouldn't it dawn on somebody that these people got to be willing? Especially if you a minor, you can't even get a pack of cigarettes without your parents' consent. You can't get a tattoo without your parents' consent. You can't do, you can't get on no plane without your parents' consent. How the hell are they able to travel to R. Kelly? How they get to R. Kelly? Look, everything you do as a minor, you got to have your parents' consent. And especially if your parents got all these details, they know about every motherfucking thing. If your parents are oblivious, then they wouldn't even be able to do the documentary. Their parents got receipts. They got pay stubs from all Kelly. They got every damn thing. Oh, my God. Hold on, y'all. That Kelly sexually abused teenage boys. It was a bringing together of the collective power of the voices. We had to talk to lots of women who weren't willing to come on camera. You know, this goes back to Aliyah. Aliyah's name was said for the first time in a criminal court. And of course, she's not alive to tell her own story. This is how much fan. Wait, wait a minute, y'all. Wait, wait, hold on. Nah, nah, they ain't about to do that there. They gonna stop this here. They gonna cut it out tonight. We all know about Aaliyah, but if he got a million new survivors, why y'all still going back to Aaliyah? What about the new girls? She the only one that holds some weight because people seen the picture, seen everybody seen it. That's the only one that, and she ain't here no more. They could let her rest in peace with all this new shit they got going on, man. Why they gotta keep digging up Aaliyah when you got Jane C, Jane D, Jane E, Jane F, you got uh, Jane all the way down the line. You got Jane Z. Shit, maybe she belonged to Jay-Z. I don't know. That was his homie back in the day. But they gonna keep on with this Aaliyah over and over because that's the only leg they got to stand on all them women hold on we got a phone call i was about to make an amazing point hold on hello hello who this is this is mimi from philly what's going on sister we over here talking about this all killer situation man they talking about all these new victims they still speaking on the leah and these women supposed to be entertainers they say we got with all kelly because he was gonna help our music career how come they ain't never put no music out oh my goodness oh i thought you talking about black youngster well, sister we ain't talking about black youngster in about two years oh shoot. Oh my God, she called Listen. him here. am i able to get my input about black youngster because i just found your oh channel my goodness since i got so much love for you usually i don't do this i usually rip your head off and tell you about yourself but you sound so sweet and gentle giving me missy elliott vibes and everything go on and say what you got to say baby basically i feel like black youngster was wrong for doing what he did the young dog like it's real disrespectful beep, beep. who you got the keys to my g don't 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 you probably over there with some trash bags on especially calling up here with this trash ass conversation Young Dolph been gone for like two years. You watching old videos and calling in on new videos. Listen, I'm check, just a big fan check the date. Check the I'm date a... on that video. Check the date for me, please. Because you watching it right now. What date do it say that video came out? Uh, I don't know. You, you, you don't know? Well, it, it, it damn sure ain't came out today. And you wasting my time. I don't know if you got a boyfriend or anything. But next time you talk to him... Tell him that somebody told you that you're a waste of time because you don't even be paying attention to stuff half the time. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean no disrespect. I love you to death. And I want to thank you for watching the video, rather if it's old or new. But you calling up here at a time where we talking about R. Kelly, you probably working with the feds. Did R. Kelly put you up to this? You working with Andre Kelly? 
because this shit really don't make no damn sense. And you sound cute too. Hit that cash app while you over there. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you get paid tomorrow and you ain't got nothing else to do with that money. Dollar sign, Sean. You got, look, hit that cash app right now. You going to do it? What's my, you might, but I just talked to you for five minutes about nothing. You talking about you might hit the cash app. Beyond disrespectful. Thank you so much for your phone call, sister. I ain't going to be able to do this no more. All right, take care now. Oh my God. What in the hell just happened? Oh my God. We only had one person call in about R. Kelly and she was drunk. This shit right here, boy. I'm gonna start doing shorts. How long we been on here? I'm about to get the hell out of here. I don't made my point anyway. Let me just say this before I get out of here, man. They doing all this surviving R. Kelly. What about surviving Andrea Kelly? Cause they remember her face. How could they forget? Ooh. Oh my goodness. The little lady that opened the door. You would have thought you was trick or treat and Andrea Kelly opened the door trick or treat. Like this ain't no costume. She look at you and give you one of them big old smiles. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Them girls had to be terrified. Like, oh, Kelly, who's this woman? Don't worry about her now. Andrea Kelly. And like I said, no disrespect. She got a booty out of this world. Oh, my goodness. But uh, on that, that baby body, it just ain't appealing. You know. <clears throat> she show up to the red carpet dressed up like a freak. That's lingerie. And you supposed to be a married woman. You supposed to wear that type of stuff in the bedroom, man. I ain't got nothing disrespectful to say about this queen. Shit, she could crack a walnut, a acorn, all that shit. Open up a big ass jar of pickles, no problem. Like, huh, open this for me, snap. Shit, you don't need no food processor or nothing. She get to crunching that shit up with them hands, boy. It's gonna be carrot souffle for everybody. Shout out to the lovely Andrea Kelly. R. Kelly's partner in life. Like, how old was she? She was four, four. Mm, 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 mm. And then his daughter, no disrespect to her and everything, because that's his daughter. But she said some own, she said some things about her own father. And it wasn't even right, man. And why his daughter trying to look like a Leah? Oh my goodness. Y'all see that shit? Like sometimes I wish Aaliyah was my mother. Oh, we know. She got the bang over her eye and everything. Looking like Glorilla. I'm on the red carpet with my ratchet ass friends. Hold on. That bet now, look, everybody look like Glorilla nowadays. Shit. Oh my goodness. And they might be a couple of Glorillas, man. And this ain't no disrespect to these queens. But God damn. Like, mm -mm, that's Glorilla. <clears throat> Mm, 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 mm. Andre Killer face with all killer swag. Look, his daughter not bad looking. Uh, hold on. Oh my goodness. I know she ain't got no hair or armpits. Reggie, cut that. Oh Lord have mercy. No, she ain't come out with them damn pits. I know them ain't no deodorant balls. Hold on, y'all. Get that girl off the screen. Damn. That, wait a minute, y'all. I don't mean no disrespect. God damn. Shit. Get these people off the screen, man. Andre Kelly bust that thing open in front of everybody. 
She looked like she had to let it loose. Like, I'm tired of holding it in. Why her ass? Like a ferret's ass. I'm tired of being Andrea Kelly. You got no choice. Shit, you can say that again. Unless, unless you change that damn last name. Like, who's that, R. Kelly wife? She, she bopped that ass low. Mm mm. Mm mm. Hold on. Is that Mary J. Blige or no? The hell is these people? This them damn, um, them survivor girls acting like they like men. Oh, Kelly ain't worried about y'all ass, man. Is that Lunell? The hell going on here? That's somebody, grandmamas. You know what? Y'all women, y'all gotta act accordingly. She like, rah. Man, this is disrespectful to my culture, to my family. She look like all my aunties, man. Put on some damn clothes, Lunell. She look like she make a mean ass banana pudding, man. <clears throat> she look like she put her foot in some banana pudding. Lunell got them greens on the stove, cornbread. She got anybody, Reggie? What's up, man? Man, hop up in her DMs. That don't be me and y'all DMs. That be Reggie. The hell is that? Is that Tariq Nasheed? What the hell he doing with? Oh my goodness. Why the hell is Tariq Nasheed with Lou Nell all pressed up on that ass? And like, shit, it ain't right if it ain't wrong. How in the hell she get up on my screen, man? She one of them Hollywood vampires too. Lou Nell been the same age since we seen her ass. She like the female version of um, Morgan Freeman and Samuel L. Jackson. She ain't never gonna get old cause she was already old. You know what I'm, I love Lou Nell. She good peoples. And she still, no she did, no, oh no she didn't. This look like a scene out of Friday. Where Uncle Alroy? With them chains and them whips. Forget Sugar. They need to bring back Friday and let her play Uncle Alroy girlfriend, man. It's Mr. Nasty Time. Like, who that bitch that owe me $5? Is that that bitch? Better come over here and give me my $5. Can you imagine Lou Nell and Aunt Deb in a fight? Who you got winning? Aunt Deb will beat the sh <laughs> Aunt Deb will beat the shit out of Lou Nell, man. And y'all know she will. That's Negro hitting over there. Oh, Kelly, bro. He tried dating an old ass woman and look what it got his ass. He like, that's why I mess with young girls. These older women, once they washed up, man, they just throw you away. At least a young girl think I'm fly. You wrong, R. Kelly. You got to know how to treat an older woman. Let me talk to R. Kelly real quick before I go, man. You got to know how to treat an older woman, man. All you got to do is respect her personal space. She'll let you know when she ready. You ain't got to ask no questions. It seems like she ready. You ain't got to try to figure it out. Because when a grown-ass woman ready, oh, you going to know. She might catch you off guard. You just come in from playing basketball. Oh no, let me go take a shower now. I'm musty now. Maybe she wants you musty. Maybe she knew you was out playing basketball. She wanted to catch your ass when you came in so she can get them gravy balls. Oh my goodness. R. Kelly, brother, you need to get in touch with me. We gonna rehabilitate R. Kelly. He just don't know how to deal with an old ass, an older woman. You know what I'm saying? Respect their personal space. You ain't got to worry when they ready because they're going to let you know when they ready. And you got to do something nice every now and then. 
you ain't gonna get by by not doing nothing nice. You gotta do nice shit, bro. Flowers. But then again, if you buy her some flowers, she gonna say, well, shit, that could have went towards the phone bill. I understand why you have troubles. And if you do mess with a grown ass woman, don't get one that look like a little ass girl, Law Kelly. That's where you messed up. Like I said, Andrea Kelly is very lovely. Well, shit. Got that Gary Coleman syndrome, man. Oh Don't know how old she is. And that's a good thing for her. Be young forever. Be young and beautiful and vibrant like she is forever. But for R. Kelly, that's a bad thing. <clears throat> Hold on now. R. Kelly got that look on his face like, is that Aaliyah? Like, that don't look like Aaliyah. And rest in peace to Aaliyah. If you think I'm going to say something bad about her, you sadly mistaken, man. I'm going to say this and I'm going to be real brief because God rest her soul, man. Boy. What they done done? That ain't the same, no. Hold up. What they done done now? How you take Aaliyah and turn her into Stacy Dash? The fuck? Did Dame Dash make her do that, though? They turn her into somebody else. She ain't look like that when she was young, young. Did R. Kelly have plastic surgery too? Hold on, wait a minute, y'all. Look, I was about to get out of here, but I got a little more time. Wait a minute. R. Kelly, young. All of them probably had that surgery. Hold on. The fuck? This nigga. What the? He don't look the same neither. That might not even be all Kelly. They probably clone his ass. Who's this nigga, man? Oh my goodness. That ain't Robert. They be pulling a switcheroo on these. That, that might be somebody else. What happened to the original R. Kelly? I swear, Hollywood, you just you look at his nose when he was a kid. How in the hell he get this big ass nose? Oh my goodness. That's not Robin. Hold on, let me answer this phone call. I can't believe this shit. Hello, hello, who this is? Hey, pal, what's up? What's going on, man? We over here talking about this all killer situation. What you got to say about the situation? Man, only thing I can say is that, man, I, these women are crazy. Oh the fuck? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't believe it. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't. Oh man, it's crazy, goodness. though. <laughs> so, you, did somebody beg you to call in? Or, like, what happened? Because, look. The phone number ain't on the screen or nothing like that. And seeing how you ain't got nothing to say, is this, did somebody bet or like bribe you to call in or something? Because besides that, I don't understand what what you want. I just want to call. Um, oh my I I can't. I I I I see your videos all the time. I want I want to call and stuff. I, I like your shows. And stuff. I like your videos. It's cool as hell. Hold on, wait a minute. Sit still, Reggie. What's up, boy? Man, hand me them napkins over there, cause you drooling all over the damn podcast and everything, bro. 
sit still. Wait a minute. Oh, go on, go on, say what you got to say now. Yeah, I watch your videos a lot and stuff. I'm watching it now about this R. Kelly stuff. Mm-hmm. And I want to tell you, I like videos and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's Pretty cool. cool. Reg, I ain't funny. What you doing with all these baby bibs? He think this shit. Look, I ain't about to be putting no baby bibs on this grown ass man. Hey, bro. We want you to um enjoy the rest of your night. Make sure you enjoy your weekend too. We ain't got nothing but love. Reggie, do somebody these baby bibs. Man, drooling all over the podcast and everything. We ain't got nothing but love for you, man. And don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like it. God damn. Thank you so much for your phone call, brother. But I ain't no nurse aide or nothing like that. I can't do nothing for you, bro. Go on there with your mama and tell her what's wrong. I ain't gonna be able to do it, man. But that's Negro here nor there. Y'all gotta let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Do y'all feel like Andre Kelly? And look, I know that's a big no-no to be speaking bad about a black woman as a black man. So I apologize. And I love Andre Kelly and all of the survivors. But somebody gotta speak their mind or else I'm gonna go crazy, baby. Andre Kelly? We gonna love you regardless, cause you are sister. But what in the hell was going on in that house? You had your cheering up in there, other people cheering up in there. What you thought it was a daycare center? Oh my goodness. And you was his wife. You the person that's supposed to say, hold on, Robert, I don't know about all these little girls and shit. Oh my goodness. I heard the allegations, Robert, who is this bitch? That was your job to set that man straight and send him to counseling, marriage counseling, sex counseling, all different types of counseling as a married couple. You know what I'm saying? R. Kelly blamed sexual depravity on his ex-wife and newly surfaced psychiatric evaluation. Hold on. Shut the motherfucking front door. R. Kelly was like, I was all right till I got with her. Next thing you know, all these girls start popping up, man, and shit. I was trying to get straight. That's why I got married. I figured if I marry her, she gonna steer me in the right direction. Everybody was proud when I got married. But next thing you know, your cousin, her little niece, everybody, they coming over and they, shit, she leave the house. I'm in the house with the girls. What, what am I supposed to do? She know I have a problem. If anything, she's supposed to be my rib. I try to go to sleep. I wake up. She not even there no more, but there's a young girl in the bed. Everybody was after my money. She knew that she would have access to my money as long as I had access to the honey. They did a whole evaluation on R. Kelly and decided that his wife played a role in that. R. Kelly blamed sexual deprivation or depravity on ex-wife and newly surfaced psychiatric evaluation. So they trying to get some, him some help, but it's going to be hard to undo what his wife done did to his ass. R. Kelly is opting out of being held responsible for his past sexual actions. Instead, he's choosing to blame his ex-wife, Dre Kelly, and feels their issues led to his estrangement from their three children. According to a psychiatric evaluation submitted to the court through Kelly's legal team and now obtained by the radar, the 12 play singer took part in the assessment in an effort to alleviate his sentencing following his guilty conviction in New York, man. So they trying to get him some help. Kelly revealed details about his childhood abuse, sexual preferences, and past relationships, including his marriage to Drea. The singer and dancer met when she was hired to be his choreographer and were wed from 1996 all the way up until 2009 kelly claimed the marriage ended because she wanted to continue her career as a dancer instead of being the housewife she allegedly promised him that she to be it was something they had discussed prior to their marriage he stated in the report so he needed her to be there but she didn't want to take on that responsibility 
as a married woman, you got to be responsible for your man. If he going through something, y'all going through that together. If he a pedophile, y'all a damn pedophile. Hold on. Hello, hello. Who this is? This is Drea from S Louisville. Sister, we need you to cut that off in the background. It sounds like you got robots over there and everything. I don't know what type of science project you got going on over there, but it sounds terrible. We need you to cut that off. Dang. I did. I have something to say about Drill Kelly and R. Kelly, and I have a question that I wanted to also throw out there. My first question is, why was he even making tapes and trying to get people to hide them in the first place? My second thing is Drill Kelly. Like... Everybody's hearing about all the stuff that R. Kelly supposedly did to these other females, and they was all willing to do it because they trying to get a spot in his life. So that means R. Drill Kelly, obvious, was with it all from the start to even get the place to be a wife in his life. Yeah, that makes sense to me. But, you know, when it comes time to do documentaries and stuff like that, the people that watch this shit on Lifetime, they don't want to hear about a woman in the wrong. People don't right. subscribe to Lifetime to hear about a woman doing something wrong. They get on there to see a woman be a victim, somebody doing a woman wrong. People don't well, want to be I'm, held I'm accountable. A woman. I'm a woman, but I also know women do wrong. And I also know that there's some evil girls that starts with Tiffany that no one's talking about. That Tiffany girl, this all started because of Tiffany. And ain't nobody speaking on that. But R. Kelly has been trying to hide the things that he's been doing for so many years. And the government people or whoever was investigating him, they've been investigating him for years. They just using those girls to hold him, but that's not the real case. And when they start getting all this information that they need to know, the truth will come out. That's real, man. But do the people really care about the truth? when a lie is so. more entertaining i think it's bigger than this and the government knows and r kelly got some secret that they know about and they're trying to keep that out the out the spotlight and just using this to hold him man look sisters and i hate to keep speaking on my beautiful sisters like that but y'all are a, a major force when it comes to money Y'all a major force when it comes to a lot of stuff, man. If you trying to get a movement to go somewhere, put a sister on the front of it. It's going to sell. Y'all like black magic. They've been using y'all for everything. Fucking grits, syrup, you name it. Just slap a black woman on there. It's going to sell. It's going to move some units. Yeah. They yeah. just catering yeah. to a specific most, audience. All those girls, they all knew. The parents knew. Everybody mm -hmm. knew. The system knew. Everybody knew. Only... A lot of other celebrities are doing the same thing that R. Kelly was doing. R. Kelly is the only one in there right now for this. It's because he's the only one that got caught up because the family that he was messing with was reporting on him. And so he was trying to find things to hide things, hide all these tapes over these movies all over the world, trying to hide what he did from the start. Come on, And everybody sister. knew about it. Hold on now. You mean to tell me you believe R. Kelly made a whole bunch of sex tapes? Now he's trying to hide these things all across the world, leaving clues like he on the damn, uh, what's that movie? Um, Angels and Demons or something like that. It ain't even that deep. Yes, it is. He got tapes in the Vatican that they ain't going to find out until they put the, the last revelations with the first Genesis chapters. And that's when they're going to be able to discover the R. Kelly sex tape that's in the middle of the Holy Grove or whatever. It ain't even that deep. Yeah, it's that deep. R. Kelly, R. Kelly used to say that, and other people used to say R. Kelly was a monster. Like, they're not saying that he's a monster as in behavior. They used to say oh he was a monster goodness. like he used to. Uh, hold on, wait a minute. It was a little boy that called up here earlier. Is you his mama? No. <laughs> you sure? That wasn't your son that called up here? No, I have grown sons. Oh, okay, yeah, because when you started talking <laughs> about the monsters under the bed and stuff, it made me think back to him, what he was talking about. Well, it's been in, the, it's been around. I mean, it's been talked about many, many times over the years. There ain't nobody speaking oh on it now. Goodness. All yeah. they worried about is what he did with these girls, but that's not even the real reason why he's locked up. Yeah. 
So he done told his mama to call. You know, y'all be playing games. You know what I'm saying? I hit him back in the background drooling. Somebody get a mop bucket or something for his ass. You know what I'm saying? Y'all play too much. And shout out to you and your son. Thank you so much for your phone call. Y'all call back whenever y'all feel like. What the hell going on, man? At the mama and son combo. Hey, man, thank you so much for your phone call. But this shit getting ridiculous, man. I'm going to have to cut this thing short. Let me just make my point before I get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what the hell she was talking about. It was the monster. It was the monsters. Hold on, y'all. Let me type this in real quick. <laughs> I'm old as hell, man. Little ass called up here. It was the monster. The, 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 your ass a goddamn monster, man. Why these people be calling up here knowing I can't do nothing for them, man? Call your doctor. God damn. I don't forgot what I was going to say. Man, matter of fact, y'all do me a favor and hit that like button, y'all. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button, too. I would really appreciate it. And hit that cash app, dollar signs. Where my phone at? See if anybody hit that cash app. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. I got to double check this. And like I said, shout out to Andre Kelly. We just do this for entertainment. No, don't be trying to call now. Y'all should have been calling. We about to go. Um, Who hit that cash app? God damn. It's like, it's like that. Hold on, Diane. Henley, hit that cash app. I got so much love for you, sister. All the rest of y'all, I got love for y'all, too. And one more thing. Subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. Subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. But if that's not what you like, then you must be a punk. Hold on now, here we go. Who is this girl? She got that junk in her trunk. Baby girl, back it up. Poke out your rump. It's SAT that you want. And my music hit. So hard, make you say, oh my God. Subscribe to my channel.